show. Welcome to the show, friends. It's Mikey and Bob, the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Hey, look at me. I uh, I wear glasses now. They look good. Thank you. They do. Uh, thanks. I like them. Is it weird to get used to? Yeah. Like yeah, actually super wearing weird. glasses again? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to take a while for me to uh, to get used to this. Uh, I have this, uh, this condition I've talked about on the show called binocular vision dysfunction. Basically, my eyes are sort of misaligned. And my eye care specialist thinks this probably happened when I had my first really bad concussion. I don't know. Is it possible to knock your eyes out of line? Because that's what I did. And so I finally got my glasses that are supposed to sort of straighten everything out for me. Got them uh, on Saturday. And it's it's going to be a, a while to adjust to them. And because it's like seeing a totally different world now. It's crazy. So I know people are going to be like, Oh, hey, how are your glasses feeling? If you ask me right now, I'll be like, I want to throw these things against the wall. <laughs> I've already had because enough of them. Because it gives, it like, it, it's going to take so long for my eyes to adjust. And, like, these frames are, like, wild. I got a micro prism in there. And there's, like, I got my, I got the readers at the bottom and stuff. And I've never had that before. So it's like, I'm looking all over the lens. And I'm like, whoa, if I look down, I see different. <laughs> whoa, if I look to the left, I see different. They have super eyes now. And they have, like, a... Can you tell they have like a yellow tint to it? A little bit, bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, I wear glasses now, so I need them to see. So (laughs) this is, (laughs) this is me now. my life now, I guess. But yeah, it's, I guess my prescription's going to sort of morph and change over the next few months and stuff. So this is more like a starter pack. It's not, yeah, yeah. Like in three, four weeks, I got to go back to Philadelphia to see my specialist to uh, find out what's working and what's not going to dial it in. Yeah. Exactly. I had them up here yesterday because they were in town uh, and they were like looking at it. I brought them up to the studio to see where I work and everything. And as soon as I turn the lights on, because the lights are super bright in here, it's like stepping into a like a spaceship. Right. As soon as I turned the lights on, they were just like, these have to go down. <laughs> They're like, no wonder your your head hurts every day leaving the stage. Just like your eyes like strain as soon as you walk on in. you yeah. guys. Yeah. So uh, I wear glasses now because of my binocular vision dysfunction. So I'm, uh, I guess I'm a different person now or something. But yeah, you just have super eyes. Yeah, this is hopefully going to get me back on the right track. Any and special powers? You see if your clothes or anything? Uh, you see my underpants right now? Let me let me take a look. Take a look. Huh? Let me spread wide for you. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Anything you like? No, I can't. All right. 96 1. Kiss. Mikey and Bob, it is the 96 1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. So I got interesting things going on in my life because I just got my pair of glasses that's supposed to change the way I see and deal with my binocular vision dysfunction. But also, um, you know, so that was a positive from this weekend. And, uh, man, our family got hit with uh, just another one. Um, You know, earlier uh, within the past year, our family cat, you know, of like 17, 18 years, Marco passed away. Talk about him a lot on the show. He is the cat who urinated in my shoe uh, during the COVID shows, Uh like one of the first shows we did at home. Uh, Marco, our cat, urinated in my shoe. Marco passed last uh, last summer. Um, out of nowhere, over the weekend, we had to put our other cat, Carly, uh, to sleep. So it hasn't been great. Uh, she had like a, it seemed like a tooth infection, right? Like her, yeah. her face was starting to swell up a little bit. And uh, she's not had health problems, but she was a wild cat when we got her. So, um, so we've had her, we've had her for years, and. Um, we just thought she had like a toothache or something like that. And we took her to the vet and they're just like, yeah, she's got cancer all over the place. Um, it's not good at all. Yeah. And you told me about it in passing last week. You're just like, yeah, there's something wrong with her tooth. Yeah. Just like, she's not eating right. And yeah. And now she's like on an urn by our TV. It oh, like boy. happened that fast. And it was like, you know, with our older cat, Marco last year, he was, you know, in renal failure and we knew that he wasn't, you know, that was more of a, taking care of him for a year for the rest for the end of his life and making him comfortable with Carly. It was just like, Oh wow. Yeah. She's got a toothache. All right. When's the next time we can get her in in a couple days and we take her in and they're just like, yeah, cancer all over the place. This is good. And then it just, they, I was like, yeah, she was just fine though. 
And then sure enough, we take her home and she's, uh, our plan was to, um, have her put to sleep today. But then like, we were just watching her and we're like, this isn't right. You know, she's right. like stumbling all over the place. And we're like, all right, well, let's do the sort of humane thing here. And, um, we had somebody come to the house and it was, you know, it was beautiful, but it just sucks. Like it's, it's weird because like less than a year ago, we had three pets in our house and we just have one now. And like, I've, I can't remember the last time I didn't own a cat and like, I don't have a cat right now. And it's really weird for me and my family. So, uh, you know. I don't know why I share this stuff, it man. But it's it's life, it and we yeah, all deal with it. And thank you to everybody who's already reached out because I, I posted about it and stuff. But yeah, it sucks to go from uh, two cats to to no cats in like uh, less than a year. But at least we still have our stupid little dog, and she is so dumb. <laughs> little Chorky <laughs> Lily, she's just the dumbest little dog, and we love her. So she is uh, she's she's like confused because there's no cats, but like she's loving the extra attention and love that she's getting. So thank you to everybody who um, you know reached out over the weekend. That's a little sweetie, by the way. Uh, I know we have tons of nicknames for our cats. Uh -huh. Carly was uh, that was a little sweetie. So Lil Sweetie is, uh, has, has moved on. All right, we got a lot to talk about on the show today, Bob. Holy crap, those football games yesterday, right? The Bills-Chiefs game, like Taylor Swift and and uh, and Jason. Jason Kelsey's got his shirt off. Like it was out. something. Man, what a what a game that was. We'll definitely talk about that coming up. Also, we got a chance for you to win $1,000. Try to pay your bills this morning on 9-10. Stick around for that. It's Mikey and Bob. Pay your bills on 96-1 KISS. Mikey and Bob, it is the 961 Kiss Morning Freak Show. All right, let's get right into this. We're all going to learn something together right now. Yep. It's time to find out why the hell is this trending with Mikey and Bob. Man, so much from last night's football game is trending. The Bills, Chiefs, Kingdom, and the two words that Bills fans do not like at all, wide right, because their kicker yesterday had the chance to tie the game with like under two minutes left in the game and kicked it wide right. Now, the Bills have had some, like Scott Norwood, the old Bills kicker from like the 90s when they went to four straight Super Bowls and lost. He, you know. Wide right. Wide right. It's always was, wide was right. That thing. So like, man, that poor guy, Scott Norwood, the Bills kicker from the 90s, he's like trending now. That guy's probably sitting at home like, what the hell, it's man? It's all revisited, yep. You can't just lose in any other – got to lose wide right, so I'm trending. It looked like a really makeable field goal, too. Like, it wasn't yeah. like something crazy. It was just a normal field goal. I'm pretty sure Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey would have marched right down that field and got the game-winning field goal anyway. But still, uh, the story this morning from that game is is wide right again for the Bills as the Chiefs beat the Bills and uh, move on to the AFC Championship game, which will be Sunday at Baltimore. It's the first time that the Ravens will be hosting an AFC Title game, Lamar Jackson uh, against um, Patrick Mahomes. That will be an exciting game. Uh, Taylor Swift, of course, was at the game watching Travis Kelsey, who had a couple touchdowns and did the uh, Taylor Swift heart hands uh, after I one mean, of the other, touchdowns. Other than the game, Jason Kelsey was a star there. He was. It was his I, show. I actually think that Jason Kelsey had a better game than Travis Kelsey, even though Travis Kelsey had multiple touchdowns. It started in the parking lot with him drinking with Bill's Mafia out of a bowling ball. He yep. was doing shots out of a bowling ball to start the day. Yeah, I, I, there is nothing you could say about Bill's Mafia other than respect that fan base because they are absolutely nuts, and it is awesome. Yes, uh, Jason Kelsey was outside tailgating, and you're right, Bob. Drinking shots out of a bowling ball. Not the day started. Listen, you're always, I wonder why you ended up shirtless. You're always going to end up shirtless <laughs> if you start your day taking shots out of a bowling ball. And Taylor Swift was, of course, in the suite. And then when Travis scores, Jason Kelsey with his big body is shirtless hanging out of the suite. Did you see the video of him jumping out of the suite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, how can a guy that big jump I, like I that? don't know. It was like not human. But hops yeah. out, chugs a beer, hops back in. And was, he just wanted to be with the people. <laughs> I, I, There was a point where he's looking around the suite, and he's like, I have one of the most famous people on the face of the earth in the suite. But I was previously out in the parking lot doing shots out of a bowling ball. I need to get out of this suite real <laughs> quick and be with the people. Yes. And he just, like, hops out of the suite. 
Yeah, just all man. He had a game last he night. He did. He did. I mean, his Without brother even playing. His brother did okay. He had a couple of touchdowns in. Uh, you know, takes the Chiefs to the AFC title game. But man, his brother Jason Kelsey shirtless in the sweep, and it wasn't like he took his shirt off and then put it back on because they would show a picture of Taylor Swift and Jason would be sitting like behind her. Just shirtless. Once just, the shirt came off. What's going back it's on? It's like right? somebody stole it from him. So it's going to be uh, Chiefs at Ravens. And then how about the Detroit Lions, man? I think a lot of people are behind the Detroit Lions. They've never been to a Super Bowl before. And uh, they beat the Buccaneers. So it'll be the Lions going to San Francisco. Uh, that'll be the NFC Championship game. So that's the four that are left. Ravens, Chiefs. 49ers and Lions, AFC and NFC title games coming up this Sunday. It's the Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob shot for you to win $1,000 coming up this morning around 9, 10. 96 on Kiss. <laughs> Mikey and Bob podcast. My friend's cousin. That person is a made-up person. <laughs> does not exist. Any statement that starts with my friend's cousin is absolutely going to be alive. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcast like you bob it is the 96 one kiss morning freak show hey it's starting to warm up a little bit watch out highs today in the upper 30s with some clouds no snow really in the uh forecast today so that is nice uh we obviously had a lot of snow on friday morning a lot of people missed the live show on friday but got caught up with friday's podcast mm-hmm. over the weekend so let's get to this real quick bob Oh my god, Mikey trying to make a dolphin sound reminds me of Bob trying to roll his R's. Yeah. (laughs) All right, so let's take you back to Friday's show because we got a message about sloths and dolphins and... On Friday's show, we were both attempting to make dolphin noises because this was the original message that got us down a sloth dolphin wormhole. Hey, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I just learned that a sloth can hold its breath long, four times longer than a dolphin. And we looked that up, and it's absolutely true. A sloth can hold its breath four times longer than a dolphin, but then the guy makes dolphin noise. <laughs> Just an incredible dolphin. I mean, we we have not given enough credit for this. And then I was trying to do a dolphin noise on Friday's show, and it just wasn't working. (laughs) (laughs) I just, I have two, I I can't make my voice go high enough. I think it's like, (laughs) 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 like, I can't do the, now I can roll my R's though. I got that, man. Yeah, I can't do that at all. All right, we'll try to roll your R's there. Oh. Yeah, you sound like my you sound like my dolphin. All right, hold on, hold on one second. Let's let's get to George here. All right, what's going on, fellas? George here, still catching up on Friday's podcast. Yeah, Mikey, I love you, man. Yeah. But when you was trying to do a dolphin noise, <laughs> come on, you sound like a deranged Woody Woodpecker on acid. Not acid. Y'all take it easy. Yeah, come on, George. All right, so on acid. let's try this here, Bob. I want you – so I'm the dolphin, okay? okay? All right. Mikey the dolphin. Mm-hmm. And you're going to try to uh, lick Mikey the dolphin by rolling your arms. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to be making dolphin noises, this- and you're going to be <laughs> – it's going to be a bad combo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we have one single person that even listens to this show. Why? Not even this one kid. The Mikey and Bob podcast. If anybody in here has a dirty butt, it is you. Okay? It's you with the dirty butt, not me. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. It's the 96 One Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob, uh, you can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on X, wherever, at FS Mikey, at FS Big Bob. Dave just sent us a message here. I watched the Wonka movie over the weekend, and they milked a giraffe. Is that even possible? All right. Um, I do not think you can milk a giraffe. I, I mean, we've done the show before where we found out all the different animals that can be milked. Yeah. It was quite amazing. I don't remember giraffe being on that list. Have you looked that up, Bob? Can um, you milk a giraffe? Wow. Yes, you can milk a giraffe. <laughs> well, 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 yes, you can. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
can you buy giraffe's milk, please? I don't think so. This can't be a common thing, right? Just a giraffe can be milk, but nobody's out here drinking giraffe milk, right? Uh, no. No, there's a story about scientists milking a giraffe and it having a super high fat count uh, compared to, like, a cow's milk or something like that, and okay. it possibly being a superfood, oh, whatever that may mean. no, don't. You don't know what a superfood is? <laughs> well, no, but I mean, like, if they were to try to find a way to produce it or something, you know. Okay. Just have a bunch of giraffes lined up, just milking stalls. Seriously, man, straight from the teat, it's a superfood, man. I, listen, if I, if I put spots on myself, I could get in there. I could get in there, you know? To be milked? Go to the zoo? Yeah, man. Or, I, I'm not, no, I'm just saying, like, if, the giraffe. If, if they need somebody to milk the giraffe, that might be me. Like, I can get in there. Plus, like, you got to think with my with my wingspan, uh -huh. I can get up you on... grab a teat, probably. I can get on, up under that giraffe's undercarriage. Without him even knowing. Yeah, you're right. Put you in, like, a giraffe onesie? Call the zoo. <laughs> Call the zoo. See if Louis, uh, the giraffe, needs milk. <laughs> we know. Uh, everybody knows Louis, the giraffe, right? He's my favorite. He's, he's my best, favorite. Yeah. He's my favorite animal at the zoo. Yep, yep. Am I close enough to him to I can milk him? I think you are. You could reach up and yeah, I bet you could. I could milk. I don't know why I'm milking with two hands. I don't think <laughs> I got to hang on. Wait, how? I mean, you'd have to be two hands. I would imagine. Hands. All right, we should we should probably just move on. Uh, it's it's right around seven o'clock. Time for us to take you back to a moment in the show that made us laugh, made us smile, and it's time for today in freak show history. Here we go. Today in freak show history. Today in freak show history. This was from a weatherman in Louisville, Kentucky. This guy stopped his weather report, raised up, like, on his tippy toes. <laughs> a fart noise came through, and yes. then he kept it moving. This was from WDRB in Louisville, Kentucky, Chief Meteorologist Mark Weinberg. And this was his weather report. The next part of the question is how much colder. Well, you'll notice we've already gotten 30s in Evansville where the transition has occurred, yep. and it's 42 in Bedford. I just want to show you how cold this air is. It's eight in Des Moines, Iowa. This has to be set up, right? He he goes with, I just want to show you how cold it is. It's such a long and pause. The, the pause, and then he lifts up like, he, he almost goes on his tippy toes because you see him like raise up a little bit, like his shoulders move. I just want to show you how cold this air is. <laughs> It's eight in Des Moines, Iowa. All right, like, I feel like this is just a setup, right? Like, I don't feel like this was legit during an actual broadcast where a weather person would stop their weather report. <laughs> Not only... Wouldn't it be smarter if you just talked over top of the fire? Right, that's what I'm saying. Listen, I bet there's weather people and news people, especially people who are doing live reports on the street. I bet they're juicing them all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time, all the time. man. All, all the, the time. time. But this guy in inside with the green screen doing the weather report, he stops. He not only makes the fart audible, but he raises up. I just want to show you how cold this air is. <laughs> It's eight into one Iowa. All right. Now, some of the responses to this were alternate headline, weatherman can't control wind. Uh, another one, he felt the movement from the east. Another one, I think it was a warm front moving in from the south. Just want to show you how cold this air is. <laughs> It's eight in Des Moines, Iowa. I mean, it's too perfect, right? Another response was, it's just a warm front coming in. Someone else responded more like a warm back. I just want to show you how cold this <laughs> air is. <laughs> it's eight in Des Moines, Iowa. And another response to this, again, weather guy farting on the air, it appears, in Louisville, Kentucky. Somebody said, Buddy did a double leg lift like he was about to blast off into space. He, he definitely he farted. Did. Case closed. I just want to show you how cold this air is. Yeah. It's eight in Des Moines, Iowa. Mikey and Bob, 
It is the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. This week, we want to send you to Bonnaroo. I'm sure you've heard of Bonnaroo, a massive uh, just music and arts festival. It's down in Tennessee in June. Mm-hmm. So why are we send you to Bonnaroo? I don't know. Seems like a really cool place to just go for the weekend, why right? Why not? Yeah. In the middle of summer, Post Malone, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Megan The Stallion, and a lot more performing. All you have to do is get on our free iHeartRadio app, and uh, stream 96.1 KISS, click the talk back microphone, and just tell us why you want to go to Bonnaroo. Uh, we will uh, pick somebody. You'll get tickets to Bonnaroo, and you will get a car camping pass. So you can drive your vehicle in there, hang out all weekend, enjoy the music, and uh, just the spectacle of a massive music festival in Tennessee, because mm-hmm. that's got to be something. Uh, Bonnaroo, uh, Sunday is your last day to enter. Again, you can enter through our free iHeartRadio app. Just send us a reason while while you're uh, streaming 96.1 KISS, and you could be going to Bonnaroo down in Tennessee in uh in June. All right, let's get to a message here from uh, Dawn from Trafford. Good morning, Mikey and Big Bob. This is Dawn from Trafford catching up on yesterday's podcast and um, also scrolling Facebook while I was listening Mm. to you guys and saw a story about a man that decided to get naked in Pittsburgh at a bagel shop. I don't know if anybody else sent it to you, but I sent it to you on Messenger and I know you guys will do that story justice because you always do the naked stories the best. I mean, Listen, there was a lot of you who sent us the naked story oh, from over the uh, weekend. Yeah, what was it? somebody? Somebody got naked outside of uh, Brugger's Bagels on uh, Grant Street, right? Uh, yep. Over the weekend. Yeah. All right, we will get to the full details. I don't have the details yet. We got to get to the full details of the naked bagel guy. You know, it's special when the naked story we have is a local one. Happens in our own backyard. Yeah. So we'll get to naked bagel guy coming up around 7:40. Also, something that happened in our own backyard a woman is suing kennywood because she says that hot cheese from the potato patch fries gave her second degree burns back in july of 2022 she says that hot cheese was dropped on her hand she got second degree burns and now you know she's she's dealing with uh, everything and the the emotional stuff that she's Mm -hmm. going through so Again, a woman is suing Kennywood because hot nacho cheese from Potato Patch Fries was uh, was dripped on her hands, leading to second-degree burns. So, I mean, that's the full story there, but how do we cover that on our show? Well, we have Kennywood Facebook comments to read. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, again, a woman suing Kennywood over hot Nacho cheese from Potato Patch Fries. We will read the Facebook comments about that coming up around 810 here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. It is Mikey and Bob. You're listening to 961 Kiss. Pittsburgh's number one hit music station. Taylor Swift in Baltimore next. Oh, man. I like it. I, I like it. I know it sucks that the Steelers aren't in it, but I, I like this. I like this. Little Taylor on tour still yeah. every weekend. It's uh, Mikey and Bob, the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Hey, how about a little bit of uh, Let's Go Pitt, man? How about that upset over the weekend? Pitt men's basketball goes to uh, Cameron Indoor Stadium and beats Duke on Saturday, 80-76. to 76. Uh, Duke was the number seventh ranked team in the country. It was the first win for Pitt men's basketball at Cameron Indoor Stadium where Duke plays since 1979. So that's awesome. Salute to Pitt basketball. Mm-hmm. A great win there. Uh, they're in Atlanta taking on Georgia Tech on Tuesday. Hey, how about a little bit of Let's Go Pens, too? Let's go Pens. Uh, Pens were in Vegas over the weekend, blew a two-goal lead in the third period on Saturday, losing to the uh, Vegas Golden Knights, the defending Stanley Cup champions, 3-2. Uh, to two. Pens are in Arizona tonight. And then uh, back at home on uh, on Tuesday. And then, of course, the NFL games over the weekend. You uh, you now have it in the NFC Lions at 49ers. The winner of that will go to the Super Bowl. The Detroit Lions uh, have only been this far one time in their history, and they've never made it to a Super Bowl. I feel like if you're rooting for the underdog it's the Lions. with these teams yeah. left, you're rooting for the Detroit Lions. Their crowd is out of control. If they make it to the Super Bowl, you know you're getting Eminem showing up. Yeah, and- their crowd is like uh, Pirates quite 
Plato here. Yes. That's, man, there is nothing better. Like, just wild at all times. There is nothing better than when a fan base that has been dealing with a crappy team for so long finally gets good. Like, we experienced it here. Not as the release. Yeah. Not, not even just with the Pirates, but I would say with the Penguins, too. When Sid and Gino and Flurry, when they, and then Lil Tang, when they all started coming together and we had those back to back Stanley Cup years against mm -hmm. uh, the Detroit Red Wings, like, man, City was on fire because the Penguins were really bad before that. So it's like you go through this dark period and it's just cool to see you know, Detroit Lions fans celebrate because they've never, they've never really been like they have in <laughs> one getting, time, but just getting a taste. Yeah. It's uh it's pretty cool to see. So it'll be lions at 49ers in the NFC. And then of course chiefs at Ravens. So you got Taylor Swift then going to Baltimore for that game. The AFC title game winner of that goes to the Super Bowl. So the, the Kansas city chiefs are now one win away uh, like, of course, they could they could make the Super Bowl. Yeah, we knew that from the beginning of the season. But the Kansas City Chiefs, with Taylor Swift in the suite, with a shirtless Kelsey brother in the suite. And by the way, Bob <laughs> Bob cannot stop watching Jason Kelsey videos. About every every half an hour, he's calling me <laughs> over to the side of his, his 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 table there, and it's just like you got to see this one. And I'm like, I've seen Jason Kelsey shirtless in the suite. With Taylor Swift, I, I've seen it. And then Bob's like, nah, you haven't seen him pick up the kid yet. And I'm like, what are you talking about, pick up the kid? He goes out of the suite, and people are just taking pictures with him. People are yelling at him, Kelsey, you should play for us. And there's this girl who has a sign for Taylor Swift or something. Um, Jason Kelsey picks the little girl up, who can't be more than four or five years old. Right. And, like, Takes her over to the sweet glass. <laughs> Puts her in the window. Not to, like, take a picture with Taylor. Just like, hey, bro, bro, you, <laughs> you know what? Got your kid. She made a sign. Yeah, yeah. And just just and waving at Taylor. Turns pretty around awesome. and then just like, all right, here you go. You can have your kid back. And then some other big shirtless bear-looking man comes over. Just like, let me take a picture with you, too. I'm telling you, Taylor Swift has to love Travis's brother, Jason, because he stole the show in that suite. He did. You have the he most. Did. It was his show. One of the most famous people in the world in the suite. Who can who can overshadow Taylor Swift? Uh, I don't know, man. How do you match these powers? <laughs> oh man, Jason Kelsey rips his shirt off. I want. I want. I need that suite at the Super Bowl. I need that suite at the Super Bowl. Like I. I honestly like. I want the Detroit Lions to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh man, give me Chiefs Lions Super Bowl. It'd be so great. It's not gonna break my heart if the Ravens lose either. Yeah, no, well, I, I don't know, man. There's some people who are uh, like, you got to be, you got to stay in the division. Yeah, like, the like, oh man, if we're gonna lose, we might as well lose to an AFC North team. But man, I'm excited for this upcoming weekend of football, and really excited to see who uh, makes the Super Bowl now. Again, it'll be Chiefs at Ravens, um, and then uh, Lions at 49ers after that crazy Chiefs Bills game last night. That sort of ends with another Bills wide right field goal. Man. It's just, man, I the ratings for that game last night, that Chiefs Bills game in the fourth quarter, have, be wild, yeah. have to be bonkers. They have to mm -hmm. be bonkers. All right, coming up next on the show, uh, it happened here. We have a naked story. Somebody got naked at a Brugger's Bagels. Uh, we will get to that coming up next here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. It's Mikey and Bob. I'm good, yeah, I'm feeling all right. It's the Kiss Morning Freak Show, Mikey and Bob. Uh, not quite as cold as it's been today. We're going to have highs in the upper 30s. There is a warm-up coming this week. It is going to be cloudy today. Is there a new season of The Bachelor on tonight? Wow. Yeah. It's the tennis guy, right? Yeah. Tennis guy. Punk. Uh, new season of The Bachelor with Joey. Season 28 of The Bachelor premieres tonight on uh, on ABC. All right, we got to get to this uh, local naked story. A lot of times we're talking about, you know, people getting naked and getting arrested and making the news and then making our show. It, it's not local. Like, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's from all over the place. This one, though, oh, we got somebody naked at Brugger's Bagel. Uh oh Whoa! Whoa! It happened again. Uh -oh. Someone decided to get naked. It's time for another 
naked story on the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show with Mikey and Big Bad. All right, this happened uh, at Brugger's Bagels on Grant Street. Uh, complaint said responding officers saw a naked man standing in the doorway as soon as they arrived to the Brugger's Bagels after employees had to call about a man exposing himself. Hello, welcome to Brugger's. Yeah, he's just greeting everybody there. You know, it's like the Walmart greeter, but the Bur Brugger's bagel version. Except he's just completely naked. Oh, uh, officers told him to put some clothes back on. Oh. He said okay. And then he bent over to grab his pants. So officers are probably thinking, all right, he's just going to put his pants back on. Don't know why he was naked. Just a full spread bend over. Then he stood back up uh -huh. without putting anything back on and said to the officers, Max Ammo. <laughs> and then that's when the police are just like, okay, you're coming with us. What a random Max Ammo. So he he didn't have pants on. And they're like, put your pants back on. He goes to pull them up and then he's like, no, <laughs> Max Ammo. Maybe he's asking for like an everything bagel at that point or something <laughs> like that. Maybe that's code. Or maybe the coffee was really strong. All hyped up. Max Ammo. Drinking this Max Ammo. Let me uh, spread my cheeks. So <laughs> that's where the everything bagel is. That's where the cream cheese is. <laughs> You're gross, man. <laughs> the bagels are up front. <laughs> it's got a bagel holder. <laughs> <He's> like <laughs> he's a one stop, you know, a one stop you know, bagel business, station, man. You know, businesses that those sign twirlers. <laughs> he's like that, but just with one bagel. Wait, hold on, you know, he's twirling it. <laughs> You're talking about like those aggressive sign yeah, twirlers, yeah, 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 like, flipping around, throwing <laughs> their all these tricks to try to get people into their store. Mm -hmm. This guy's outside doing that with a, a, <laughs> naked, a naked body and one singular bagel. One bagel, it's twirling it. I ain't got a whipping sign. it around. I ain't got a sign, but come on in, Brugers. <laughs> come on, Brugers. <laughs> moving it around there. All right. Uh, the complaint said that officers smelled a strong odor of alcohol on his breath. Yeah. Man, how much do you have to drink to become the uh, the, the, the the bagel display? I've drank plenty before. Never, <laughs> never naked at a bagel job. How many bagels do you think I can fit on this? <laughs> you think that's how I bet that's what he was doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just got a little drunk. I wonder how many bagels I could fit on this thing here, man. What do you think? You think I could fit two? You think I could get two on there? An employee, oh, the an employee of Brugger's Bagels told police that the man came in the store, <laughs> bought, bought a coffee, and then left. A few minutes later, she looked up, and he was just standing naked outside of the building. Uh was in the coffee, you know, yeah. to make him to make him do that. But of course, he gets arrested just standing outside of the Brugger's bagel, not twirling a sign, twirling something else <laughs> with the bagel on it. Come on in, Brugger's. <laughs> it is a naked person making the show once again. Pay your bills on 96. <laughs> Mikey and Bob, it's the 96 one Kiss Morning Freak Show. In about ten minutes here on the show, we're going to read some Kennywood Facebook comments. After a woman is suing Kennywood for uh, dropping hot nacho cheese hot on her cheese. hand, giving her second-degree burns a couple of years ago, we'll read the Kennywood Facebook comments about that. Trust me, stick around for that. Coming up in about 10 minutes here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, Bob, earlier we read a message from uh, somebody who saw the Wonka movie over the weekend, and they milked a giraffe mm -hmm. in that movie. And then uh, we learned, Bob looked it up, that you actually can milk a giraffe. But we got this message. Hey, Mikey, Bob. Just listen to the show here. And uh, yeah. you guys are talking about milking the giraffe at the zoo. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. pretty sure you guys said a male name. Yeah. I forget what it was, but yeah. it sounded like you were milking a male giraffe. And Lewis. And you had to use two hands. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, listen. <laughs> I don't know the names of any of the other giraffes other than, than Lewis. It's the only one we so, know. It's like I was just thinking of giraffes at the zoo, and I'm like, oh, there's Lewis. And I, I, I realize now that Aaron, what I said, that is trying to end. It doesn't taste like milk. <laughs> uh, let's get to a uh, message from Derek here. Hey, guys. <laughs> My name is Derek. 
I've been listening to y'all for the past 20 years. Hell yeah. Um, Appreciate you. I just wanted to give y'all a compliment on your shows last week. They were hilarious. I work for Coca-Cola, delivering, and I wake up every morning to listen to y'all podcast while I'm doing my route. And last week's shows yeah. just had me dying and crying. That's awesome, man. Well, Derek, the Coke man, we appreciate you listening to the show, man. You thought last week was good. I've already milked the male giraffe this morning. <laughs> All right, coming up next on the show, we dive into the <laughs> Kennywood Facebook comments. After a woman has uh, sued Kennywood over hot nacho cheese. We'll get to those coming up next here. And your chance to win $1,000 try to pay your bills around 9, 10. It's Mikey and Bob, Kiss Morning Free Show. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Free Show. Uh, you can stream the show live through the free iHeartRadio app. And if you miss any of the show, you can get caught up with our Mikey and Bob podcast on the free iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. A woman is suing Kennywood, saying that she was injured by uh, potato patch fries cheese. According to court documents, the woman bought the fries from the potato patch at Kennywood in July of 2022. She says the hot nacho cheese was dropped onto her right hand when she got the fries, and it caused a second-degree burn. Drippy cheese. She says that the burn caused permanent scarring, painful burning, and blisters. The complaint claims that Kennywood was negligent for allowing food too hot for human consumption to be sold. The document argues that she suffered pain, inconvenience, embarrassment, and mental anguish. It also says that she's undergone uh, medical treatments for her burns and will continue to do so. So obviously all the best to her as she recovers and is still dealing with the pain of having hot cheese dropped on her at Kennywood. And now she is, is, is suing, uh, you know, for her pain and suffering. The danger of a hot cheese. Yeah. And then we read the Facebo comment section. Beware. We are going uh -oh. to uh -huh. a deep, dark uh -oh. place on the yeah. internet. It's time for 961 Kiss <laughs> off Facebook comments. All right, real quick here. Kennywood Facebook comments after a woman is suing Kennywood because potato patch fries, hot cheese gave her second degree burns. Dennis G, potato patch fries are meant to be handled with the utmost care. I never once dropped a drip of the delicious cheesy goodness. All right, got to be more careful then. Michael A, back in the 80s, if you didn't come home from Kennywood with a scar, it was a failed trip. All right, not the 80s anymore, Michael. <laughs> I, I love this one from a trip in 87. I love how in every generation does this. Back in my day, we used to, you would get scarred at Kennywood. Part of the trip. Yeah. And then and then you just think, well, Kennywood was better back in the 80s. Why? Because you would go there and you'd, you'd leave with a scar? Seven stitches. Yeah. Uh, Mark H here. I have more hot cheese burn scars on my body than I can count. It's all part of the risk and reward of eating hot cheese. He's right. He's right. You know what you're doing. I kind of agree. You know what you're doing. Man, I remember my neighbor Frankie growing up? Yeah. Dude, he had a big scar on himself. He had a big scar. Hot cheese scar? Yeah, it was hot. He had a cool looking scar. He was told, he, I think he told people it was something else, but I knew it was hot cheese scar. It was from pizza. Matthew M. Holy cheese lava and molten potatoes. I would still eat those potato patch fries, even if they burned a hole through my entire body. <laughs> that seems aggressive, but I understand I mean, the uh, love. Maybe blow on them a little bit. Give them a... <sighs> like that's going to do anything. Scott P in the Facebook comments. Hey, tell her to get her nachos and fries with the cheese at Heinz Field from now on. The cheese there is always cold, and that's right. I call it Heinz Field. All right, Scott, she wasn't at Heinz Field. She was at Kennywood. They never get hot cheese there. It's cold cheese. Damn it. it. And I'm calling it Heinz Field still. I mean, that guy is so yinzer right there. <laughs> Yelling at the Kennywood, I got burned by the hot cheese lady. About Heinz Field cold cheese? Come to Heinz Field if you want cold cheese nachos. Uh, Donnie L here. Let's sue them. For removing the log jammer. You know it was coming. <laughs> you knew log jammer was coming in there, right? It's the real missing lawsuit here. It's the, it's the ride at Kennywood that's no longer there that we all yearn for. It, it gives us every every reason to yell at Kennywood, log jammer, bring the log jammer back. Uh, one more Facebook comment here after a woman is suing Kennywood because she got burned by hot cheese. 
back in 2022. Ken V here. Mm. Last time I was at Kennywood was senior day years ago. I ate two orders of potato patch fries and clogged a toilet. <laughs> My friends called me Kenny the Clogger for the rest of the summer. <laughs> Kenny the Log Jammer. <laughs> There's the Log Jammer. It's Kenny. It's Kenny. Oh, I, got him. I don't know. I got him good. I got him really good. You can vote for Olivia Rodrigo in a bunch of different categories for our iHeartRadio Music Awards, including Best Fan Army. Uh, you can vote right now at iHeartRadio.com slash awards, and you can watch our iHeartRadio Music Awards April 1st on Fox. It's Mikey. It's Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Bob, we absolutely love the Pittsburgh police scanner account on uh, social media. It's just two people who listen to the Pittsburgh police scanner and will just post about the things happening in and around our neighborhood. Let's check in with the Pittsburgh police scanner account and what is happening in our neighborhood. This happened downtown Liberty Ave. Mm. Man's outside the 7-Eleven running around and screaming that he is tripping on acid. Ooh. Also from the Pittsburgh police scanner account, Knoxville. This happened on Knox Ave. Two neighbors are fighting because they are throwing snow on each other's sidewalks. Oh, oh I mean, no. don't do that. You the gotta snow know, battle. You got to know where yours ends and the neighbors begin. Lodging it back and forth. Yeah, you don't do that. Just, I mean, it'd be, be good neighbors. Yeah, right? be Pittsburgh. nice. Be what, are we doing? Neighbors. what are we doing here? Also happening on the Pittsburgh Police Scanner account, this is uh, the Coons Market, uh, Banksville. Mm. Caller said that she can't find an item in the supermarket, and no one is helping her. Okay. That's not how the police work, ma'am. You call the cops because you couldn't find something in Coons? Where are the pickles? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nobody's going to help me. I need help, and nobody's helping me. That's it. Call the cops. <laughs> you know, she threatened to call the police first, too. I'll call them. Like she, she definitely told somebody that to register or something. <laughs> I'll call the police. She couldn't find anybody. Nobody would help her. She couldn't <laughs> even find anybody. I'm calling the cops on you. <laughs> Also happening, downtown Market Square, a guy in a red van oh in boy. Market Square Uh-oh. is driving around the circle offering $30 for sexual favors. Kiss. The Mikey and Bob Podcast. No thanks. I like my meat real and my men with chest hair. <laughs> Stream the Mikey and Bob Podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. Mikey and Bob, it's the 961 Kiss Morning Freak Show. It's going to warm up a little this week as compared to whatever we went through last week. Cloudy today with highs in the upper 30s. I saw highs near like 50 Whoa. later in this week. Coming. Oh. All right, let's get to this message. Mikey and Bob, Mr. Fancy Pants here. Oh, wait, so he's got a name now? He's calling himself <laughs> Mr. Fancy Pants? I like this guy. Mikey and Bob, Mr. Fancy Pants here. Yeah. Although today I just want to call him my regular voice and uh, offer wow. condolences to Mikey for the loss of his cat. Yeah. I mean, pets are family, and it never makes it any easier when a pet passes. So you're in our thoughts and prayers, man. Take it easy. Well, what a nice message from regular voice Mr. Fancy Pants there. <laughs> Pro character. It is... <laughs> It is weird how, like, this is... Did we name him Mr. Fan? Did he just name himself I Mr. I think we Fancy threw Pants? out a couple names okay, last yeah. week. I like it. I, I, think mean, he, I, I feel like he is Mr. Fancy Pants, the way he speaks in that voice. Mikey and Bob, Mr. Fancy Pants here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a weird thing. Like, think, take yourself out of the show real quick. Man that calls with fancy voice that is now called Mr. Fancy Pants goes into his regular voice to offer condolences about our dead family cat. Uh, yeah, I talked about this earlier on the show. You might have seen if you follow me on any social media. Just sucks. Uh, we had to put our older cat, Marco, um, you know, we had to put him to uh, to sleep. He was like our family cat forever, um, less than a year ago. And then over the weekend, we had to have our other cat, uh, Carly, who I like to call Little Sweetie. 
had put a little sweetie to sleep over the weekend. Kind of came out of nowhere. We thought she had like a like an infection in a tooth. It was just kind of like, okay, she's got some dental work that needs done. And then we went to the vet, and they're just like, she's got cancer. It's spreading everywhere. And then, you know, they give you the option of, you you know, she's an older cat too. And it was right. just like, well, you can do chemo. And it's just like, or we can take part of her jaw out. And it was like, no, you don't want to do that to a pet. Like, towards the end so uh but it sucked though because we thought that she had a toothache and then she's now in like an urn next to our tv i'm like i don't even really know if it's hit me yet like how did this happen so fast it's just like a couple days and then it's like your pets your pet's gone we were actually gonna have somebody come to the house today and uh you know sort of give her what she needed to you know sort of make her final final trip there but we couldn't even wait till today like we had to do it over the weekend because she was just in bad shape and you don't want your pet to suffer or anything like that it's the worst it's it's a tough decision but i i think you know as a pet owner when you get to the point you're just like we're not even enjoying our final moments and our final days with with this pet because you know they're they're feeling so bad so you sort of i think you sort of know when you really love a pet when it's when it's time when they're not acting and being themselves and you know their quality of life is just just gone and you just want to make them as comfortable as possible and um man having somebody come to the house though like you can just do that instead of taking them to a a vet's office Mm -hmm. that was the first time that we experienced that because our older cat marco just died he just had a heart attack and died on his own but you know, to have a, a pet put to sleep like that is, um, man, if you've never had, um, you know, one of these services come in where they have that that comes in and, and does it, it's, it was just beautiful. Like, that's the way to do that, you know, if you can. Um, we've never had it done before, but that was the, you know, stay at home. And for a lot of pets, just the stress of taking a car ride right, isn't fun. And, you know, do you do, do you want that to happen at the end of your life? Somebody throw you in a car like, all right, Grandpa, we're taking you to some place here. Here we go. You know? No. It's like, you know, you, you treat them almost with, like, a human respect and care of, like, this is your home. We're going to let you pass that home. So, yeah, it wasn't the, the greatest of weekends um, saying goodbye to our cat. And now we just, you know, went from having three pets in the house to now just having – um, our dog Lily left. So, you know, I know a lot of people go through this and thanks to everybody who sent me and my family messages, but, uh, I feel like a lot of you are family, you know, and, and friends. And we, we talk about our lives and, you know, our wife's names and our kids' names and where we live. And, you know, uh, you know, so much about our lives just from listening to the show. So when we have like this major life stuff that sort of happens and, um, you know, we almost feel obligated to talk about it on the show because this is our life. This is what we're, we're dealing with. So, you know, if, if maybe I seem a little off today or some other days or something like that, I'm like, yeah, I had to put my cat to sleep over the weekend again. And it just hasn't been the, uh, the, the best, but I appreciate, you know, in times like these, though, coming in here and doing the show always helps. A little distraction. Yeah, yeah. it's always a good distraction. So, uh, all right, we got another chance for you to try to win $1,000 this morning. Try to pay your bills. That's coming up around 9, 10. That'd make your Monday a little bit nicer, right? Uh, stick around for that. It's Mikey and Bob. 96 one kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. Hi, bowling ball and bowling pin. I mean, you're not wrong calling us bowling ball and bowling pin. Yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. No way it was our last night. Mikey and Bob, it's the 90s. Oh. Is, wow. Oh, my. Wow. Oh, gosh. Mm. Wow. Mm. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, wow. <laughs> so we'll have that tomorrow on the show when the Oscar nomination show is so out. dumb. Wait, do they come out in the afternoon? I feel like they come out in the afternoon. No? I don't morning think so. Thing? I think it's a morning thing. Uh, right. Right. You want me to look? Do we care? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Oscar nominations tomorrow on the show. Hey, uh, Justin Timberlake did his uh, thing, right? Didn't he do like a hometown show? Oh, in, like, a... wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this needs to be a thing. This needs to be a thing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ninja 
just he did a show in like Nashville <laughs> over the wow. weekend, right? Oh, at like a smaller theater. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, like a big like, arena, right? It was like uh, he called it like his hometown show or whatever. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, wow! Is he from there? Yeah. Is he from Tennessee? Oh wow! I didn't know. Oh wow! <laughs> That's the home of music, isn't it? Wow! Oh wow! So uh this is a little snippet. This whole song isn't out, right? He's got a new song. You got out. a snippet? Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> this is a little of a new Justin Timberlake song <laughs> called Selfish. So if I get jealous, I can't help it. I won't have to be you. I guess I'm selfish. So what do you think, Bob? Oh, wow! <laughs> is that a new Justin Timberlake What's that song? Called? Snip it. What is it called? Selfish. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Ooh, wow! That's 15 seconds of a new Justin Timberlake. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's get to a message here because I believe last week on the show, Bob, you said, uh, you know, it was a little icy out. And you <laughs> okay. said that if you go down on the ice, you're yeah. taking everybody else out too because a big man of your size going on the ice and slipping on the ice. Oh, wow. No coming back from that. Hey, guys. Listen, Friday's podcast late. And um, our man, Bob, yep. just mm -hmm. talked about how <laughs> – if he fell down on the ice, it would be a problem for everybody. And Mikey says, yeah. talking about the Ford F-150 yeah. commercial. Is, is this what our show was Friday? You're just, you were like, if I go down and fall on the ice, I'm yeah. taking everybody out. Yeah. It's going to be a bad situation for everybody if a man of my size goes down on the ice. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I think I put you in an, a Ford F-150 commercial where you always see, like, an F-150 Hauling a bow, the power and towing, and then it's the, just the it's, torque and towing power. Yeah, I just imagine a Ford F-150 commercial, but it's just pulling you across the ice. Oh, oh wow. wow! I don't like your picture. Is one of those canvas hydraulic systems they what? use for marine life to put them back in the ocean? And our man Bob, marine life, arms and legs flailing around with his bushy mustache. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Oh, like one of those whales stretcher. <laughs> she's talking about that wrap right around the. <laughs> <laughs> she's got you floating in like a dolphin basket. Oh wow! <laughs> Your hands, legs going. Ooh wee! Do you know what she's talking about? I think so, yeah. So, like... Like one of those slings. Like the, it's like yeah, a sling, right? Like, like on the side of the boat, they put they, like they oh. put an animal in it. It's almost just like... Uh, <laughs> you know, think of, I feel like a dolphin. Like yeah, put a dolphin. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like a dolphin... Uh, Transporter. Yeah. I was going to say a dolphin joint. It's like somebody just, like, instead of putting... <laughs> a dolphin joint. It's like they're rolling up a dolphin to smoke it. I should have probably used dolphin burrito, but I don't know, man. The way it looked, I was just like, dolphin that stretch. That looks like a dolphin joint. That looks like a dolphin joint right there, right? Looks like a dolphin joint. Oh, wow. Because it, there's oh, like, wow. Are they rolling that dolphin up? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You okay over there, man? I don't know, man. I smoked some dolphin. Oh, wow. Joe, try to pay your bills. Oh, wow! It's Mikey and Bob. Yeah. I say this, that's because I used to be young. It's the 96 One Kiss Morning Free Show. Uh, Mikey and Bob, we got a chance to pay your bills. You could win $1,000 coming up here in just a couple minutes. We'll give you that nationwide keyword to enter on our website, 961kiss.com. Hey, how about a little bit of Let's Go Pens, man? Let's Go Pens. Uh, Penguins lost over the weekend in Vegas, 3-2, to two, blowing a two-goal lead in the third period uh, to the defending Stanley Cup champion, uh, Golden Knights. They're in Arizona tonight, 9 p.m. start for the Pens in uh, Arizona. Of course, there was football yesterday. Uh, the Chiefs beat the Bills in just an incredible game. I just saw the NFL on CBS. Uh, they posted... Since the 2011 AFC Championship game, every AFC Championship game has either featured Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes. Okay, since 2011? Since 2011. Wow, that was a while ago. That sucks, because, like, <laughs> the Steelers have to beat these guys, right? Well, I mean, 
they can't be Tom Brady anymore, sure. but like that. It was the Steelers trying to beat Brady, and now it's uh, the Bills trying to beat the Chiefs. It's like Tom Brady held back so many Steeler teams. And, like, you know, Peyton Manning could have won more if it wasn't for Tom Brady. And you're right. Like, Same Patrick, thing's happening to the Bills. Patrick Mahomes yeah. just ruining things for the AFC because they're always going to get this far, it seems like. So the Chiefs beat the Bills in just an incredible game yesterday. Uh, the Lions beat the Bucks. So your uh, final four, your AFC championship game is Chiefs at Ravens. And then on the NFC side, it's Lions at 49ers. Games all moved to Sunday now, right? Like there's no yeah, Saturday. No, it's just, just, it's just championship Sunday, Sunday now. Uh, AFC championship is first at uh, three. You'll have Chiefs at Ravens. Uh, this is Lamar Jackson against Patrick Mahomes. That is going to be an incredible game. Ravens hosting the AFC title game for the first time in their franchise history. Taylor Swift's got to be there, right? Uh, Taylor, Taylor going to Baltimore. Taylor and Jason Kelsey versus the world. What a show that is, huh? Them in that suite yesterday in Buffalo. That was awesome. And Bills fans absolutely loved it. They did. I think they some did. Bills fans like maybe gave Taylor a hard time and were yelling things and stuff like that. But once you get into the game, into the suite, it's all part of it, man. Shirtless, hairy, big dude. How do you hate that guy? You and, can't. Uh, Taylor Swift has to love Travis Kelsey's brother, Jason. Yeah. Because he stole the show yep. in that suite in Buffalo last night. He was climbing out of the suite window at points, getting down with the Bills fans. He picked up a little girl who had a Taylor sign and took her over to the window. It was like, <laughs> presented her. See, look what I got here. <laughs> yes. Little girl made a sign for you. And he's just this big, hairy guy. Holy, yeah. Taking pictures. Perfect. Bills fans are yelling at him. You should be playing here, Kelsey. Like everybody just loves Kelsey Brothers, right? Like it's it's awesome. I love it. I'm sad the Steelers are out, but I like this ride of you know Taylor Swift and the Kelsey Brothers. They're and- very much just two random dudes everybody grew up with. Like everybody <laughs> has like yeah. They might not be brothers. Everybody has Kelsey Brothers though that they can point to and be like, yeah, I grew up with that kid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's the Kelsey Brothers. I, I don't even think growing up, I think now, even in adult life, we all have that one friend who if you give them one too many beers, shirts coming off. Right? Like we all have that one friend who you know has it has a limit on the yeah. partying. Yeah. And once you cross that limit, it's sure hard to it's off. hard to bring that person back. <laughs> you know? Yeah. For Jason Kelsey, I think it was before the game, he was doing shots with Bill's Mafia out, out of a bowling out ball. Out of a bowling ball, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that one dude? Now, I know uh, Buffalo fans like to throw each other through tables and stuff. Did you see some guy go through a table? And sometimes they like the tables on fire. By the way, <laughs> do you, you got to prepare for this. If you're lighting a table on fire, somebody needs to be ready with a fire extinguisher. Like, I get that it's or a dangerous thing, but, like... Remember to stop, drop, and roll. I yeah. saw some guy with his ass on fire for... It was, did you see it, too? He, like, popped up, yeah. He, yeah. he, like, he got thrown through a table and then was, like, sitting on the mm-hmm. flame, and it's like, hot ass, hot ass, whoa, 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 hot ass, hot ass! And then he was... You gotta roll. You stop, burn, drop, and roll. Burn through your pants, too. Do you just go to the game? Is that just like a battle wound? You got cheeks out at the game now because you burned through your pants? I think if you're, if you're going to a Buffalo Bills game, you know how to layer up and you have multiple layers on. Or maybe, I don't know, if you're a Bills fan who knows you're going through a flaming table, maybe, you know, you have, maybe that's like a, a big RV, you know, that's, that's tailgating. You can do a costume change before you go into the game, but you're right, though, Just Bob. the guy in section 116 with both his ass cheeks perfectly <laughs> burnt out of his pants. <laughs> so cold. Frostbit, but only on one butt yes. cheek. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's, it's exciting, though. I, I think I want Chiefs-Lions Super Bowl, because then you're getting a team like the Detroit Lions who's never been to a Super Bowl before. You know, there's famous fans there, too. You got Eminem and, uh, you know, people like that. You got Taylor with the Chiefs. I think that would be the funnest Super Bowl. Is to, Like, when the Ravens make the Super Bowl, who do they bring from Baltimore? Like, the Super Bowl is a spectacle. And if the Steelers are out of it, I want it to be the biggest spectacle possible. Give me Taylor Swift. And listen, hold on, Swifties, because I know you're going to do the research and go, Taylor starts her world tour. Yeah, that that she, she can, can be, be back. Tokyo, right? Yeah, she can be back. 
with the time change, <laughs> if the Chiefs beat the Ravens. I like that you told me all confidence. Like, she can be back. She can make it. She can make it. If she flies privately, which it's Taylor Swift, how yeah. else can she fly? A uh, 12-hour flight from Tokyo to, to Vegas. Mm-hmm. And then with the time change, mm-hmm. so she would be able to make the Super Bowl, I believe, if they if they make it to the Super Bowl. That'd be awesome. I mean, <laughs> Jason Kelsey at the Super Bowl? Think he's going to keep his shirt on? I don't know. No? You're <laughs> shaking me off? No, no you don't chance. think so? No chance. He's just the guy who... I don't, nah, man, it might be brand deals on it. Yeah, that's like, Super everywhere. Bowl's more Super Bowl's more calm down and corporate. Donna like, Kelsey's in the soup zone. Like it's, yeah. gonna be, it's gonna be a whole Kelsey party <laughs> if they both make it there. Every know? shot of them is gonna be sponsored by mm-hmm. some. You're right. Jason's gonna he's gonna have to keep the, the shirt on, maybe. But that was an exciting, uh exciting weekend of football. And you know, it's now that the Steelers are out of it, you just hope for all right, don't make the games blowouts, make them entertaining like Chiefs. Chiefs Bills was uh, last night, but obviously the big games are coming here. Chiefs at Ravens Sunday at three and then Lions at 49ers Sunday around 630. Right now it is your chance to win a thousand dollars. Pay your bills. Here we go. Pay your bills. Mike and Bob. It's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, you can always leave us messages to try to uh, get on the show. I think it's a fun game for some of our listeners to send messages and see if they actually can make the show or the podcast. So uh, you got to get on our free iHeartRadio app when you're streaming the station or our Mikey and Bob podcast. Just hit the talk back microphone. It's absolutely free to do, and you can send us messages like Lizzie from West Mifflin. Good morning, Mikey and Bob. Lizzie from West Mifflin here. There she is. I just want to say, Mikey, I'm so sorry for your loss of your cat. I know how it feels. Yeah. Um, both my childhood pets passed, um, and it, it's hard, and you love them like family, and I just want to say I uh, love you guys, and hopefully you to have a really good week. Yeah. It was a nice message. Thank you very much, Lizzie from West Mifflin. I do appreciate everybody who sent me messages on our uh, our second family cat dying over the weekend. Two cats in less than a year sucks, man. Just sucks. All right, let's get to another message here about something completely different. Hey, Chile and Brazil. Hold on one second. Chile and Brazil? You know what those uh, countries look like? I'm Ch- pretty sure Chile's Chile, long. Chile's the long one, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Like Chile, like if you're looking at South America, Chile is the one that goes all the way down like the the west side of South America, right? Yeah, Brazil. And then thick. Brazil's yeah. that big thick one that's like up in the upper right hand corner, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty that's accurate pretty good. there. Chile and Brazil. Hey, Chile and Brazil. This is Lakin here. Um, when my husband and I were on our honeymoon in Argentina, we were talking about like when we were out to dinner or even at home. Do you prefer a four-post table or a single-post in the middle table to eat at? Uh, we were like, I think Mikey and Bob would really have a good debate about this. Oh, wow. So let me know what you think. Oh, wow. All right. So they were in Argentina. That's why Chile and Brazil came up, right? Yeah. What kind of table? When you go to a restaurant, do you like a booth or like a regular table with four seats? Well, you're it? not a booth guy. You're Hell no. Guy. I avoid booths any way I can. Not all booths are fat people friendly. Sometimes you get the booth that has the middle pole in it that's like completely like drilled into the ground uh-huh. that doesn't move. So you, if you, can't, have a, you can't do that, right? Yeah, you got a skinny friend, or if my wife's on the other side, can't move the table over, and I'm just kind of right wedged in the booth. So you you need a booth that has a movable table so you can give yourself more booth room. But you're yeah. not taking the booth option ever, really. I mean, I, we grew up together. I know you're not a booth guy because you don't want to see if you can fit in the booth. If you don't have to, right. But there's always the the one, you, you don't want to do the one chair either, right? Like, like half the rest, booth, half, half yeah, table? Yeah, rest of the family or whatever is in the booth Oh, part, and then I'm the guy on the and outside. And then you're the guy yeah, on the that. outside of the table that's just like, because then you get before. people that look by and are just like, well, he's got the one mm-hmm. chair outside because he can't fit that guy on the outside. Huh? Else. So, yeah. so you avoid booths at all costs, but... You have to go to a restaurant, sit at a table. Do you want the table to have four legs? Or are you good with one of those just one post in the middle sort of smaller tables? I'll take four legs all day. 
I think I'm a one post table guy when I'm out at a restaurant. I think I'm a one post table guy, especially if I'm out with more than just like, I mean, definitely if it's just, you know, like me and my wife, just two people, Jamie, uh, I, 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 I think I would take, yeah, one post table. I, I also, one post table guy. Also, regular table over the high top table. Like if I had to choose the high top table, screw that. My legs. Why don't you like the high top short table? Short legs, man. Long, oh, okay. Longer torso, short legs, oh, okay. stubby body. Like I'm just dangling there. My legs are just see dangling like a kid. If I do the high top table, I like the high top table. But I'm also just massively tall, so high top table is where I go. But so you're saying if you go to a restaurant, you want four legs on that table? Four legs. Yeah, I, put I, me in a normal seat. I think if I had to pick, I mean, if I have to pick, I'm picking the booth. I love the booth. I know you're not a booth guy, though, Bob, but if I have to pick a table at a restaurant, I think I'm just going for the one the, the one post in the middle. I don't think I need a four-leg table. Man, this is what happened when the Steelers get knocked out of the Super Bowl. What kind hey, of table, table talk? talk. <laughs> We're in table <laughs> talk. <laughs> she gave us good nicknames. What do you want us to do? Hey, Chile and Brazil. We were always going to play her message no matter you know, what came after that. You know, like when your FYP page, like, takes you to a weird place on TikTok? Yeah. Like, our listeners take us to those places on the show. It's, it's like, true. It's we're, true. We're in table? We're in table talk? How did we true. get here? We were just talking about the AFC and NFC championship game and Taylor Swift and stuff. Why are we talking about <laughs> tables now? Pay your bills on 96.1 KISS. It's Mikey. It's Bob, the 96.1 KISS Morning Freak Show. You can vote for your favorites for our iHeartRadio Music Awards. It's going to be airing on Fox on April 1st. Vote for your favorites like Best Lyrics, Favorite Tour Style, and more at iHeartRadio.com slash awards. All right, let's get to Indiana for this next story. Uh, a lot of people uh, will go to a place like Buffalo Wild Wings, a sports bar, right? Yeah. Get some nice fried appetizers, yeah. some bar food, watch some sports. Uh, this happened in uh, Indiana. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings had to close when a man pulled up around midnight looking for food, specifically fried pickles. Oh. 25-year-old man couldn't get them to open the kitchen, so he wanted to make a trade. Had a hankering for the pickles, did he? By the way, like just the fact that he wants to make a trade with the Buffalo Wild Wings workers at midnight, this isn't going to go well, no, right? Uh-uh. He allegedly offered drugs to the Buffalo Wild Wings workers in exchange for fried pickles. Hell of a deal right there, huh? What kind of drugs are we talking about? All right, we'll find out here. Uh, that guy wanted some fried pickles, man. He was already wearing an ankle monitor as a result of a prior drug arrest. Out on these streets with nothing to lose. Offered marijuana, cocaine, ecstasy, and vape cartridges, according to workers that were interviewed by the cops. He has it all, man. Was he just like, what do you need? What I, do got, you I got, got it. it. I got it over we here. We got a vapor in the back. Come take a look. I got you. Fried pickles. <laughs> the man reportedly said, if you make us fried pickles, I'll make it worth it. Employees did not agree to trade fried pickles for drugs, so then the guy left the Buffalo Wild Wings. Before leaving, though, here we go. Investigators say the man left three small baggies of weed on the restaurant's front counter and told the manager, give them bags to the kids. <laughs> give them to the kids? Like he, you know, like, like the kids working in the back. Yeah, like, kids working in the okay. back. Like he just thinks that they got kids back there, like washing dishes. And Give it to the kids. <laughs> kids are working at midnight they on the weekend at Buffalo Wild Wings. They're gonna need this weed. They don't want your drugs. Sir. Give it to the kids, man. <laughs> Give it to the kids. I can't believe he. What a move. Crusty, dusty weed on some guy's pocket. How do adults <laughs> think like this? How do they think? Yeah, give it, give it, give some of it to the kids. Give it to the no kids. No fried pickles. Right, I'll be on my way. What you got there? Candy or something? No, just little baggies of weed. Give, give it to the kids. 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 Uh, police called up with the guy outside of a nearby gas station where he was taken into custody. A search of his vehicle found marijuana, cocaine, oxy, Xanax, <laughs> THC cartridges, and scales containing a white powder. My guy was ready. He was arrested on multiple felony drug charges. My guy was ready to make the deal of the century for fried he pickles. Was. Like he was, he was holding some serious Any, weight. Anything you want, anything and you want. That, with with what that guy was having, all he wanted was fried pickles. He should have went higher than that. 
You know, you got to go like, ha- give me half the menu. At least like an app that. sampler of some yeah. kind. Like, give, give the bags to the kids in the back. You know, let the kids have it. So, again, he was arrested, willing to go, just uh, willing to risk it all. On house arrest. Over fried pickles at Buffalo Wild Wings. 96 one kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. Hey, uh, why did you just put a uh, picture of hairless Garfield with six nipples in our group chat? Case of the Monday. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. It's the 96 One Kiss Morning Free Show. Mikey and Bob appreciate all of you listening to any of the show today, whether you're a live uh, Mikey and Bob listener or a Mikey and Bob podcast listener. Just appreciate everybody still riding with us and taking in the content, listening to the uh, show. You got 12 more chances throughout the day today to try to turn your Monday around and win $1,000 as we continue to try to pay your bills this week. 12 more chances. Be listening 10 after every hour now through 9 p.m. for your chance to win $1,000. Next chance coming up in about 10 minutes during the uh, Ryan Seacrest show. Uh, all right, Pens in Arizona tonight. Hey, how about let that go, Pens, man? Of course, you can listen to that on the radio home of the Penguins, 105.9 The X, free on the iHeartRadio app, too. Uh, I got uh, I got a talk back message I want to play here, Bob. But okay. first, let's get the uh, podcast name today. What would you like to name the podcast? Naked Bagels and a Clogged Kennywood Toilet. <laughs> Naked Bagels and a Clogged Kennywood Toilet? Mm-hmm. The name of our uh, podcast episode today. All right, let's get to this message. My new uh, Chris from Greensburg. Hey, uh, Jason Kelsey looked like La Machine. Yeah. Except he's staying a comedian. Yeah. Anyway. Burke Kreischer. <laughs> he did. Oh, okay. yeah. Jason Kelsey yep. at the Buffalo Bills, uh, Kansas City Chiefs game. Very Burt like. Yeah. In the suite with Taylor Swift, just shirtless and hairy. You ever see that movie? Burke Kreischer's movie? I have not. That's good. That's good. I've heard I mean, you've tell seen the joke you've, multiple times. You've yeah. heard the, the, yeah, yeah. the La Machina. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Right. Like the, the whole. Uh, the whole bit and everything. Yeah, the movie was kind of funny, too. I think that's a tough ask to turn, like, a stand-up bit into a movie. But, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Mikey, Bob had a fantastic laugh when the girl was talking about the, the sling for dolphins or whales. Yeah. You got you to gotta go back and listen to that one. Yeah. How about a little Let's Go Pans? A little Let's Go Pans. All right, me? so let me get this laugh here that he's talking oh, about. Okay. Because at some point, Earlier in the show, we had Bob being hoisted in a dolphin hoist. Yes, in like one of those uh, hoists that <laughs> like a dolphin stretcher, I guess you could call it something you, like that. If you have to move a dolphin somewhere, we had Bob inside <laughs> one of those, and uh, this was his laugh. <laughs> okay, that's not a normal Bob laugh because that has he he's in the middle of it. Usually, you don't give a he he. You gave some hee hees in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, man. It's pretty good. You stuck some hee hees in there. All right, let's add it to the laugh track. This is how we will end the show. One minute of the best Bob laughs, including our newest one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Red, <she's> the clown. <laughs> shaped pals who make the human number 10 when we stand next to each other i'm mikey that's my best friend since little league baseball over there bob Hi. uh bob let's just start with a message 
from our guy, George. Absolutely love this guy. Listens to the show all the time, and he always gets caught up with our podcast. And we were talking about giraffes on the show yesterday, so this is how we start the show today. All right, what's going on, fella? George here catching up on Monday's podcast. Mike, just to let you know, dude, if you try to milk a male giraffe, you ain't getting milk. Y'all take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Life lesson. I love so much from that George to the giraffe, man. No matter what George <laughs> sends us, the message always ends with, "All right, y'all take it easy." Y'all take it easy. It's just if you try to milk a male giraffe, yeah. you ain't getting milk. <laughs> All right, y'all take it easy. We usually don't do this, but so far, even though this is just the very start of the show. I believe the name of the podcast today <laughs> lies in George's message. If you try to milk a male giraffe, you ain't getting milk. Ain't getting milk. <laughs> Y'all take it easy. All right. I don't know how we fit that in the podcast name, but if you milk a male giraffe, you ain't getting milk. <laughs> sounds like it sounds like a name of a podcast. Oh, app. You're not getting giraffe milk. You're getting something totally different. 96.1. Yes. Mikey and Bob, it is the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. 